It was a dream for more than three centuries. A canal across the Isthmus of Cape Cod was first envisioned by British colonists in the early 1600s. George Washington considered building a canal across Cape Cod to move his Continental Army during the War of Independence in 1776. A canal would also create a faster shipping route from Boston to New York, saving 120 kilometers on that trip. The Boston to New York route was notoriously dangerous, as vessels had to contend with the treacherous shoals and frequent storms along the Massachusetts coast. Between 1845 and 1903, there were more than 2,000 shipwrecks along the coast of Cape Cod, claiming the lives of 700 sailors and fishermen. Several attempts were made to dig a canal over the years. All failed until financier August Belmont and engineer William Barclay Parsons joined forces in 1905. It was the second audacious project for these two visionaries, who had just completed the original IRT line of the New York City subway. Parsons, who had unsuccessfully advocated a sea level canal for the Panama Canal, proposed a similar scheme for Cape Cod. Defying the skeptics, Belmont and Parsons opted for a sea level canal without locks. Construction on the canal began in 1909. The challenges were enormous, including harsh New England winters and primitive dredging machinery. Most challenging of all were boulders, 700 of them, some as large as 80 tons, that had to be removed as part of the excavation. By April of 1914, only one section of land remained separating excavations from Buzzards Bay and Cape Cod Bay. On April 21st, workers cut away enough of the dam to allow Belmont and Parsons to shake hands across the ditch. Two weeks later, the dam was fully dismantled, and the waters of Cape Cod Bay and Buzzards Bay met for the first time. On July 29, 1914, the canal was officially opened, with a grand parade of ships through the canal. A dream of three centuries had finally been realized. Exactly 100 years later, the people of Cape Cod celebrated the centennial of the Cape Cod Canal with fireworks, parades, tours, and concerts. The canal, which today is maintained by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, is still in active use and known to millions worldwide. The Cape Cod Canal is just one of thousands of projects made possible by the high standards of technical excellence established more than a century ago by William Barclay Parsons. Since its establishment in 1885, Parsons Sprinkerhoff continues to contribute to the development of infrastructure that enhances communities for future generations.